In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to build a SQLite agent using Agno AI to interact with a SQLite database using natural language in Python. This is going to be a very beginner friendly tutorial. As long as you have some Python and SQL experience, you should be able to follow along. Now imagining, instead of writing SQL queries manually to retrieve information from a database, we can create an AI powered agent that can understand human language commands and run SQL queries automatically. This means we'll be able to ask questions like, how many albums did an artist release? What's the total invoice amount collected in 2024? Or even have the SQL agent to manage the database for us, performing actions like inserting new records and modifying existing data without writing a single line of SQL code. If you have never heard of Agno, Agno is an open source AI agent framework designed for building intelligent, autonomous systems with ease. It offers robust tools for knowledge retrieval, workflow automation, and memory management, enabling AI agents to process information efficiently and act with precision. With built-in RAG capabilities, vector database integration, and adaptive chunking strategies, the framework provides the infrastructure needed to develop scalable, context-aware AI solutions optimized for efficiency and accuracy. To create the SQLite agent in this tutorial, I will be using Agno's SQL Toolkit and OpenAI GPT-40 model to power the model. And throughout this tutorial, I will break down each part of the code in detail, ensuring you understand how the agent processes queries and interacts with the database. Now, to get started, launch your terminal and run the command to install Agno, SQL Alchemy, and OpenAI. For this tutorial, we'll use the Chinook database, a sample SQLite database that contains tables like artists, albums, customers, and invoices. This structure mimics a digital music store, making it perfect for testing SQL queries. If you don't already have the Chinook database, you can download it from its official GitHub repository. The download link is in the description below. Download the Chinook SQLite database file in your project directory. To view and query against the SQLite database, I recommend InLoop SQLite Viewer, an open source web SQLite viewer. Now that we have the database ready, let's move on to creating the SQLite agent. Create a Python file and name it sqliteagent.py. In the script, import the Python packages showing on the screen. The SQL Tools module provides the agent with the functions to run SQL queries, list tables, and describe the metadata of a table. And create engine function from SQL Alchemy is used to establish a connection to our SQLite database. To establish a connection to the SQLite database, construct a database engine using the create engine function with SQLite prefix to indicate that we are working with a SQLite database followed by the database path. Now that the database connection is set up, go ahead and create the SQLite agent that will interact with the database. In the system message, which is the system prompt, specify that the agent is equipped with tools to manage your SQLite database. In the tool assignment, assign the SQL tools with the SQLite DB engine. To make interactions more seamless, Configure the agent to retain conversation history, meaning it can remember previous queries within the same session. Finally, we allow it to retry failed queries up to three times, ensuring that transient issues do not stop execution immediately. With this setup, we can now use the SQLite agent to interact with the Chinook SQLite database. For the first request, Let's ask the agent to list the tables in the Chinook database. From the log, 
the agent code the list tables function from SQL tools and returns 11 tables. Because the SQL agent is doing all the heavy lifting for us, we no longer need to write a single line of SQL. For instance, I can simply ask, how many albums did Aerosmith release? The SQL agent will examine the request, figure out the functions and SQL query it needs to run to return the answer, which is one album. To verify the result, let me run the SQL query manually. And one album called Big Ones Return. To make sure it's not a fluke, let's ask for a different artist. And the agent returns the correct answer. If you work in accounting, some of the useful use case, such as total invoice collected in certain year. Or we can even ask the SQL agent to add or delete records, giving a single request. This makes updating records really easy. Even someone without any SQL knowledge can do it. And that's everything I will be covering in this tutorial. Hopefully, you find the video useful. If there are any other AI agent tutorials you would like me to cover, leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.